Today, I had a busy morning. I woke up early and immediately started preparing for work. After getting dressed and ready, I decided to have breakfast before heading out. I quickly ate my meal and then hurried to catch the bus to the office. The bus arrived just in time, and I boarded it along with many other commuters. As the bus drove through the busy streets, I could see people rushing to their destinations. Finally, I arrived at the office and got straight to work. There were many tasks waiting for me, and I had to work diligently to complete them all. It was a hectic and productive morning, filled with countless responsibilities and deadlines to meet. During my lunch break, I went to a nearby cafe with my colleagues. We sat down at a table and looked at the menu. I ordered a sandwich with chicken and vegetables, while my colleagues ordered different dishes like salads and pasta. The waiter brought us our food, and it looked really appetizing. We started eating and enjoying our meals. As we ate, we talked about work and the projects we were currently working on. We discussed our ideas and shared our thoughts. It was interesting to hear different perspectives and learn from each other's experiences. The atmosphere in the cafe was lively, with people laughing and talking. After finishing our meals, we paid the bill and left the cafe. It was a nice break from work and a great opportunity to connect with my colleagues outside of the office. I felt energized and ready to continue the rest of the day. In the afternoon, I had a meeting with my team. We gathered together to discuss a new project that we were assigned. During the meeting, we brainstormed ideas and shared our thoughts on how to approach the project. We listened to each other's suggestions and took notes. After carefully considering all the options, we made plans for the project's execution. We allocated tasks to each team member based on their skills and strengths. It was a productive meeting as we were able to come up with a clear action plan and set deadlines for each milestone. I left the meeting feeling motivated and excited to start working on the project. After finishing my day at work, I headed to the gym for my usual workout routine. I started off by doing some cardio exercises, such as running on the treadmill and cycling on the stationary bike. It helped me warm up my body and get my heart rate up. Then, I moved on to lifting weights. I focused on different muscle groups, like my arms, legs, and back. I did a series of repetitions and sets, gradually increasing the weight to challenge my muscles. It felt great to push myself and feel my muscles working. After my workout, I stretched to cool down and prevent any muscle soreness. I felt accomplished and proud of myself for staying committed to my fitness goals. Today, on my way home, I decided to make a quick stop at the grocery store. I needed to buy some food and essentials for the week ahead. 
As I entered the store, I grabbed a shopping cart and took out my shopping list. I made sure to carefully select each item on my list, taking my time to compare prices and check expiration dates. I grabbed some fresh fruits and vegetables, a few cans of soup, and some bread. Moving through the aisles, I also picked up some milk, eggs, and cheese. I made sure not to forget the toiletries, so I added toothpaste, shampoo, and soap to my cart as well. With my cart filled to the brim, I headed to the checkout counter. The cashier scanned each item, and I paid for my purchases using cash. After packing my groceries into bags, I headed back home, satisfied with my successful shopping trip. After returning home, I decided to make dinner from scratch. I found a recipe online and gathered all the ingredients I needed. First, I chopped up some fresh vegetables like carrots, onions, and bell peppers. Then, I heated up a skillet and added some olive oil. Once the oil was hot, I added the chopped vegetables and sautéed them until they were soft and slightly caramelized. In a separate pot, I boiled some water and cooked pasta until it was al dente. While the pasta was cooking, I seasoned the vegetables with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Next, I added a can of diced tomatoes and let everything simmer for a few minutes. Once the pasta was done, I drained it and added it to the skillet with the vegetables and tomatoes. I stirred everything together and let it cook for a few more minutes to allow the flavors to meld together. Finally, I served myself a plate of the delicious pasta dish I had just made. It was a satisfying and nutritious homemade dinner that I enjoyed immensely. Before going to bed, I completed my usual bedtime routine. First, I brushed my teeth to make sure they were clean and fresh. Then, I washed my face to remove any dirt or oil. After that, I picked up my book and read a few pages to relax my mind. Once I finished reading, I switched off the lights in my room to create a calm and dark environment. Finally, I closed my eyes and fell asleep easily, feeling refreshed and ready for a good night's rest. I woke up early in the morning when the sun was just rising. Feeling motivated, I decided to go for a jog in the nearby park. As I stepped outside, I could feel the cool breeze on my face, which instantly made me feel refreshed. The park was quiet and peaceful, with only a few other joggers and dog walkers around. I started running at a slow pace, taking in the beautiful surroundings. The chirping of birds and the sound of leaves rustling under my feet created a soothing atmosphere. I could also smell the earthy scent of freshly cut grass, which added to the calming experience. As I continued jogging, my body gradually warmed up, and I could feel my muscles stretching and working. It was a great way to wake up my body and mind. After completing a few laps around the park, I decided to head back home. 
The exercise had energized me and prepared me for the day ahead. After my morning jog, I decided to prepare a healthy breakfast to fuel myself for the day. I started by making a bowl of oatmeal, adding some water and putting it in the microwave to cook. While it was cooking, I gathered some fresh fruits, such as bananas and strawberries, and washed them thoroughly. I then sliced the fruits and arranged them nicely on a plate. Once the oatmeal was done, I poured it into a bowl and added a sprinkle of cinnamon on top for extra flavor. To accompany my breakfast, I made myself a cup of tea by boiling some water and adding a tea bag. After a few minutes, the tea was ready to be enjoyed. I sat down at the table and savored each bite of my delicious breakfast, feeling energized and ready to take on the morning. Today, I woke up and got ready for work. I decided to take the subway since it's faster and more convenient. As I entered the subway station, I saw that there were a lot of people waiting for the train. When the train arrived, it was already quite crowded. I squeezed my way inside and luckily found a seat. I sat down and took out a book from my bag. I started reading and enjoyed the peaceful ride. The train made several stops along the way, but I didn't pay much attention to them. Finally, after about 30 minutes, I reached my stop. I stood up, gathered my belongings, and got off the train. It was time to start another day at work. Overall, my commute went smoothly and I was able to relax and read during the ride. Today at work, we had a team meeting. It was our 12th meeting. The purpose of the meeting was to talk about our progress on a project that we are working on. The meeting took place in the office. Everyone on the team was there. We all sat around a conference table. One by one, each person shared their updates on the project. They talked about what they have accomplished so far and their plans for the next steps. Some team members also gave suggestions on how we can improve our work. The meeting lasted for about an hour. It was a productive discussion and everyone had a chance to contribute. After the meeting, we all went back to our desks to continue working on our tasks. In the mid-morning, I took a coffee break with my colleagues. We were all sitting in the break room, sipping on our hot cups of coffee. We started chatting about our weekend plans and what we were looking forward to. One of my colleagues mentioned that they were going hiking with their family, while another said they were planning to visit a new restaurant in town. We laughed and shared funny stories about past weekend adventures. It was a nice break from work and a chance to get to know my colleagues better. Overall, it was a pleasant and enjoyable coffee break. Yesterday, I wanted to make something different for dinner, so I searched online for a new recipe. I found one that looked interesting and decided to give it a try. 
I followed the instructions carefully and gathered all the ingredients I needed. As I began cooking, I noticed the dish required a lot of chopping and slicing, which took some time. However, I enjoyed the process and watched as the raw ingredients transformed into a colorful mixture. The recipe called for a variety of spices, which added a fragrant aroma to the dish. I let it simmer and followed the recommended cooking time. Finally, it was time to taste the finished product. I served the dish on colorful plates and sat down to enjoy it. The first bite was amazing. The flavors blended perfectly together, creating a delicious and satisfying meal. I was proud of myself for trying something new and succeeding at the cooking experiment. I called my family to catch up and share updates. We talked about our week and made plans to meet up soon. It was nice to hear their voices and find out how everyone was doing. I told them about my new job and how excited I was about it. They were happy for me and congratulated me on my success. We also talked about our plans for the weekend and decided to have a family dinner on Sunday. We discussed what dishes to prepare and who would bring what. It was a fun and lively conversation, and it made me feel closer to my family even though we were far apart. I can't wait to see them in person and spend quality time together. Talking to my family always brings a sense of comfort and happiness to my day. Before going to bed last night, I decided to follow my usual skincare routine. First, I washed my face with a gentle cleanser to remove any dirt and oils that had accumulated throughout the day. After patting my face dry with a clean towel, I applied a hydrating moisturizer to keep my skin nourished and hydrated overnight. To add an extra touch of luxury, I decided to use a face mask. I carefully applied the mask all over my face, making sure to avoid my eyes and lips. Then, I relaxed for about 15 minutes while the mask worked its magic. Finally, I rinsed off the mask with warm water and patted my face dry again. With my skincare routine complete, I felt refreshed and ready for a good night's sleep. Yesterday evening, I had the opportunity to attend a networking event related to my industry. It was a great chance to meet new professionals who share similar interests as me. During the event, I had the chance to exchange business cards with several people and I also had the opportunity to discuss and share ideas with them. The atmosphere was friendly and welcoming, which made it easier for me to approach others and strike up conversations. It was a valuable experience where I was able to expand my professional network and gain insights from others in my field. Yesterday, I decided to declutter and organize my home. I spent the entire evening working on this task. I started by going through my belongings and sorting them into different categories. I had clothes, shoes, books, and various other items that needed to be organized. 
I made separate piles for things I wanted to keep, things I wanted to donate, and things I wanted to throw away. Once I had sorted everything, I began finding proper places for each item. I folded my clothes and arranged them neatly in my closet. I put my shoes in a shoe rack and lined up my books on a shelf. I also took the time to tidy up my kitchen and bathroom, organizing my utensils, dishes, and toiletries. By the end of the evening, my home felt much more organized and clutter-free. It was incredibly satisfying to see everything in its proper place and to have a clean and tidy living space. Yesterday, I had a wonderful day indulging in my hobby of painting. I woke up feeling inspired and excited to express my creativity through art. I gathered all my painting supplies and set up my easel in a corner of my living room. I had a blank canvas in front of me, waiting to be transformed into something beautiful. I started by sketching the outline of my subject, carefully observing its shapes and proportions. Then, I mixed various colors on my palette and began applying them to the canvas with my paintbrush. It was a therapeutic process, as I blended different shades and added details to bring my painting to life. The hours seemed to fly by as I immersed myself in the world of art. I focused on capturing the essence of my subject, using brush strokes to convey emotions and create depth. Finally, after several hours of dedicated work, I stepped back and admired the finished piece. It was incredibly satisfying to see my vision come to life on the canvas. Painting allows me to escape from the stresses of daily life and immerse myself in a world of color and imagination. I look forward to my next painting session, where I can once again let my creativity flow freely. Yesterday, I met up with a friend to have dinner at a really nice and comfortable restaurant. We were able to spend some time together and talk about what has been going on in our lives. We both had the chance to share our stories and it was really great to catch up. The restaurant had a warm and cozy atmosphere which made the evening even more enjoyable. We ordered our food and it was absolutely delicious. We both tried different dishes and they were all so tasty. We had a really good time chatting and laughing while we ate. It was a simple but wonderful evening spent with a friend enjoying good food and each other's company. Last night, before going to bed, I decided to try a new method to relax my mind and release any stress from the day. I practiced meditation in the evening. I found a quiet space in my room and sat on the floor with my legs crossed. I closed my eyes and focused on my breathing. I took deep breaths in and out, letting go of any tension in my body. As I continued to breathe deeply, I tried to clear my mind of any thoughts or worries. It was a bit challenging at first, as my mind kept wandering. However, I gently brought my attention back to my breath each time. After a few minutes, I started to feel more calm and relaxed. 
I felt a sense of peace and stillness within me. The meditation helped me to let go of any negative emotions and enter a state of tranquility. I continued to meditate for about 15 minutes, and then slowly opened my eyes. I felt refreshed and ready to sleep. The meditation had quieted my mind and prepared me for a peaceful night's rest. Last weekend, I decided to take a short trip to a town nearby for a weekend getaway. I wanted to explore new places and get a break from my everyday routine. I packed my bag with essential items and headed off in my car. The journey was smooth, with no traffic or delays. Upon reaching the town, I started exploring the sites. I visited a famous park with beautiful flowers and took some pictures to capture the moment. Later, I went to a local restaurant and tried their cuisine, which was delicious. The town had a charming atmosphere, and I enjoyed walking around the streets and observing the local culture. The change of scenery was refreshing, and I felt relaxed and rejuvenated. On the last day of my trip, I spent a few hours at a nearby lake, enjoying the peaceful surroundings and taking in the natural beauty. Overall, my weekend getaway was a pleasant experience filled with new discoveries and memorable moments. I spent the afternoon baking cookies from scratch. I gathered all the necessary ingredients, flour, sugar, butter, eggs, and chocolate chips. First, I preheated the oven to the required temperature. Then, I mixed the softened butter and sugar together until it became creamy. Next, I added the eggs one at a time and mixed well. In a separate bowl, one combined the flour and chocolate chips. I gradually added this mixture to the butter and sugar mixture, stirring until it formed a thick dough. Once the dough was ready, I used a spoon to drop small portions onto a baking sheet. I carefully placed the sheet in the preheated oven and set the timer for 10 minutes. As the cookies baked, a sweet aroma filled the house. After the timer went off, I removed the cookies from the oven and let them cool on a wire rack. The cookies turned out golden brown and delicious. I couldn't resist tasting one and it was perfect. I couldn't wait to share these homemade treats with my loved ones. I decided to go on a nature hike through a beautiful trail in the countryside. The weather was perfect, with the sun shining brightly and a gentle breeze blowing. As I started walking along the path, I was immediately greeted by the sights and sounds of nature. The trail was surrounded by tall trees, lush greenery, and colorful flowers. I could hear birds chirping and the soft rustling of leaves. The air was so fresh and clean, it felt amazing to take deep breaths. I continued walking, taking in the beauty around me. I saw squirrels scurrying up trees and butterflies fluttering by. The trail led me to a small stream, where I sat down on a rock and listened to the peaceful sound of water flowing. 
After a while, I resumed my hike, following the trail through the countryside. I crossed wooden bridges and climbed up small hills, feeling energized by the exercise and the beauty of my surroundings. As the hike came to an end, I felt a sense of peace and tranquility. It was a wonderful day of immersing myself in nature and enjoying the simple joys it has to offer. Yesterday, I went to my book club meeting. It was our 35th meeting and we gather once a month. At the meeting, we talked about the book that we had all read since our last meeting. We discussed different aspects of the book and shared our thoughts and opinions on it. Some people really enjoyed the book and recommended it to others, while some had mixed feelings about it. We also recommended new books that we had come across and thought others might enjoy reading. It was a great opportunity to share ideas, discover new books, and engage in interesting discussions with fellow book lovers. I hosted a family gathering at my place. We all came together to spend some quality time with each other. We decided to have a potluck dinner, so everyone brought a dish to share. There was a wide variety of food, from salads to casseroles to desserts. We all sat around the dining table and enjoyed the delicious meal together. After dinner, we played games like charades and board games. It was a lot of fun and brought out a lot of laughter. We also took some time to catch up with each other and share stories. The atmosphere was warm and welcoming and everyone seemed to be having a great time. It was a wonderful day spent with my family, creating memories that will last a lifetime. I decided to join a cooking class to enhance my cooking skills. The class took place in a professional kitchen where a skilled chef demonstrated different techniques and recipes. Throughout the class, I learned how to properly chop vegetables, marinate meat, and saute ingredients. The chef also taught us how to make a delicious pasta dish and a mouth-watering dessert. I followed along step by step, taking notes and asking questions when needed. By the end of the class, I felt more confident in my abilities and left with a newfound appreciation for the art of cooking. I recently went to an art exhibition in my town. This exhibition showcased the work of local artists. As I walked through the gallery, I was amazed by the creativity and talent on display. The artists had used various forms of art to express themselves. There were beautiful paintings, intricate sculptures, and even abstract installations. Each piece was unique and seemed to tell a different story. I especially enjoyed seeing the vibrant colors and impressive details in the artwork. It was fascinating to see how these artists had brought their imagination to life through their artwork. I spent hours exploring the exhibition, taking in all the different creations. It was a great opportunity to support local artists and appreciate the beauty they had created. Overall, 
It was a wonderful experience that left me feeling inspired and appreciative of the artistic community in my town. Today, I decided to go shopping for new clothes. I went to a couple of different stores to find the perfect outfits. I took some time to try on different clothes and see how they looked on me. After trying on several outfits, I found some really stylish pieces that I liked. I decided to buy them to update my wardrobe. I didn't spend too much money, but I feel like the new clothes will really freshen up my style. It was a successful shopping trip and I'm excited to wear my new clothes. I recently attended an art workshop. During the workshop, we learned various techniques such as painting with acrylics and creating mixed media artwork. The instructor showed us how to blend different colors and apply the paint to the canvas. We also learned how to create texture using different tools and materials. It was interesting to see the different styles and ideas that each participant had. We had the opportunity to experiment and try out different techniques on our own. Overall, it was a fun and educational experience where I learned new skills and discovered my creative side. Today, I decided to try a new restaurant in town. I went alone because I wanted to explore the flavors of the cuisine without any distractions. As I entered the restaurant, I was greeted by a friendly hostess who showed me to a table by the window. The interior of the restaurant was cozy and had a warm ambiance. I looked through the menu and saw many unfamiliar dishes. I decided to be adventurous and ordered a dish that was recommended by the waiter. While waiting for my food, I observed the other diners around me, enjoying their meals and engaging in lively conversations. Finally, my dish arrived and it looked beautifully presented. I took a bite and was immediately impressed by the unique flavors. The combination of spices and ingredients created a perfect harmony in my mouth. As I savored each bite, I couldn't help but feel satisfied with my choice of trying this new restaurant. The attentive waiter checked on me throughout the meal ensuring that I had everything I needed. I finished my meal feeling content and grateful for this delightful dining experience. Trying new restaurants is a great way to discover different cuisines and expand my culinary horizons. I spent some time writing in my journal. It was a peaceful and quiet afternoon, the perfect time to collect my thoughts and put them on paper. I started by documenting my day, noting down the little moments that made me smile. I wrote about the sunny weather outside and how it made me feel refreshed and energized. Then, I moved on to jotting down my experiences from the past week. I described the fun outing I had with friends, the delicious meal I cooked for my family, and the interesting book I had finished reading. Writing in my journal allowed me to relive these moments and appreciate them even more. I also took the opportunity to reflect on my emotions and thoughts. 
I wrote about my aspirations and goals, my fears and worries, and my hopes for the future. It felt therapeutic to pour out my feelings onto the pages, knowing that I could always come back and revisit them whenever I needed. As I finished my journal entry, I felt a sense of calm and contentment. Writing in my journal had given me a chance to express myself and gain clarity about my own thoughts and experiences. It was a small but meaningful act that brought me a sense of fulfillment and satisfaction. I recently went on a day trip to a national park near my place. It was the 49th day of my trip and I was excited to explore nature and go hiking. The park had many different trails to choose from, each offering a unique experience. I started my hike by following a picturesque trail that wound its way through tall trees and colorful flowers. The air was fresh and filled with the sweet scent of nature. As I walked along, I could hear the soothing sounds of birds chirping and water trickling from nearby streams. The scenery was breathtaking, with lush green landscapes and majestic mountains in the distance. I came across a small waterfall and took a moment to admire its beauty. Continuing on my journey, I encountered various wildlife such as squirrels and butterflies, going about their daily activities. After a few hours of hiking, I reached a viewpoint that offered a panoramic view of the entire park. It was a sight to behold. I took some pictures to capture the moment and sat down to rest and enjoy the tranquility. As the day came to an end, I made my way back to the park entrance, feeling grateful for the opportunity to connect with nature and have such a wonderful experience. Yesterday, I decided to spend the afternoon gardening in my backyard. I wanted to create a beautiful and productive space where I could grow my own flowers and vegetables. I started by preparing the soil, loosening it with a garden fork and removing any weeds. Then, I carefully chose a variety of flower seeds and planted them in neat rows. I also planted some vegetable seedlings, hoping to have a fresh supply of tomatoes, cucumbers, and lettuce in the near future. After planting, I watered the soil gently and covered the seeds with a thin layer of mulch to protect them. I knew that these plants needed proper care and attention to grow, so I made sure to water them regularly and protect them from pests. It was a rewarding experience to see the tiny green shoots emerging from the soil a sign that my hard work was paying off. I look forward to watching my garden flourish and enjoying the fruits of my labor in the coming months. Yesterday, I decided to start a new project. I found an old piece of furniture that was in need of a makeover. It was worn out and outdated, so I thought it would be a fun challenge to refurbish it and give it a fresh new look. I gathered all the necessary tools and materials and began the process. First, I sanded down the surface to remove the old paint and smooth out any imperfections. Then, I applied a coat of primer to ensure that the new paint would adhere properly. Once the primer dried, 
I carefully chose a new paint color and began painting the furniture. It took several coats to achieve the desired color and finish. After the paint dried, I added some decorative elements, such as new hardware and stenciled designs, to give the piece a unique touch. Finally, I let everything dry overnight before placing it in its designated spot in my home. I am proud of the end result and happy that I was able to breathe new life into an old piece of furniture through this DIY project. Today, I decided to go for a bike ride around the city. I wanted to explore new neighborhoods and enjoy the beautiful scenery. The weather was perfect, not too hot or too cold. I started my journey by biking through the bustling streets filled with cars and people. As I made my way through the city, I discovered hidden parks and quaint little cafes. I stopped at one of the parks to rest and take in the peaceful atmosphere. Continuing on, I passed by colorful houses and vibrant street art. It was fascinating to see how different each neighborhood was. The ride was quite enjoyable and I felt a sense of freedom as I pedaled through the city streets. Overall, it was a great day of exploring and appreciating the unique charm of each neighborhood I encountered on my bike ride. Today, I decided to visit the local farmer's market to buy some fresh produce. As I walked through the market, I saw a variety of fruits and vegetables neatly arranged on the stalls. There were tomatoes, cucumbers, carrots, and many more colorful vegetables that caught my eye. The vendors were friendly and they offered samples of their products. I tasted a juicy slice of watermelon and it tasted delicious. I bought a bunch of ripe bananas, some crisp apples, and a bag of sweet strawberries. The prices were reasonable and I was happy to support the local farmers. The market was bustling with people, all looking for the freshest ingredients. It was a vibrant and lively atmosphere with the sound of conversations and the smell of freshly baked bread. After I finished shopping, I loaded my bags into my car and felt satisfied with my purchases. It was a great experience to explore the farmer's market and I will definitely be going back for more fresh produce in the future. Today, I decided to get a haircut, so I went to the salon. When I arrived, the hairdresser greeted me and asked what kind of style I wanted. I showed her a picture of the hairstyle I liked and she started cutting my hair accordingly. While she was cutting, we had a friendly conversation about my day and what I do for a living. The salon was busy with other customers getting their hair done. After cutting my hair, the hairdresser asked if I wanted any styling products. I declined and she finished my haircut by blow drying my hair. When she showed me the final result in the mirror, I was really happy with my new hairstyle. It felt refreshing and gave me a confidence boost. I paid for the haircut and thanked the hairdresser for doing such a great job. Leaving the salon, 
I felt excited to show off my new look to my friends and family. I decided to try something new and joined a pottery class. The class was held in a spacious studio with lots of natural light. The instructor began by demonstrating different techniques for creating clay sculptures and pottery. We were provided with blocks of clay to mold and shape. I started by kneading the clay to make it soft and pliable. Then, I carefully formed a small bowl by pinching the clay with my fingers. It took some time and patience to get the shape just right. Once I was satisfied with my bowl, one used different tools to create patterns and texture on the surface. The process was surprisingly relaxing and therapeutic. The class lasted for a few hours, and I was able to create multiple pieces during that time. At the end of the class, we cleaned up our workspaces and left our sculptures to dry and be fired in the kiln. Overall, it was a fulfilling and enjoyable experience, and I can't wait to see how my finished pieces turn out. Yesterday, I had the chance to meet up with an old friend for a coffee. It had been quite a while since we last saw each other, so we were both excited to catch up and see what had been happening in each other's lives. We sat down at a cozy cafe, ordered our drinks, and began chatting away. We talked about our jobs, our families, and everything else that had been going on. It was really nice to reminisce about the memories we shared together. We laughed and smiled as we recalled funny moments from our past adventures. The conversation flowed smoothly, and it felt like no time had passed since we last saw each other. After a while, we both realized that time had flown by and we had spent hours talking. Reluctantly, we said our goodbyes, promising to not let so much time pass before we meet again. It was a wonderful day filled with reconnecting and reliving old memories. Yesterday I decided to try a new recipe and make a special dessert. I started by gathering all the ingredients listed in the recipe. Then, I carefully measured each ingredient and followed the instructions step by step. The recipe required patience and precision, as I had to mix the ingredients in specific quantities and at specific times. I also had to preheat the oven to a certain temperature. Once everything was mixed together, I poured the batter into a baking dish and placed it in the oven. I set the timer and waited anxiously for the dessert to bake. After the recommended baking time, I took the dessert out of the oven and let it cool. The result was a beautiful and delicious dessert that I couldn't wait to try. The new recipe was a success and I was proud of myself for following it accurately. It was a satisfying experience to make something new and enjoy the tasty results. Yesterday I attended a workshop on personal development. It was held in a conference room at a local community center. When I arrived, there were about 20 other people who had also come to learn. 
The workshop was led by a professional speaker who had a lot of experience in personal development. He started by explaining the importance of setting goals and having a positive mindset. Then, he went on to talk about effective communication skills and how to build better relationships with others. We also learned about time management techniques and how to prioritize our tasks. Throughout the workshop, we participated in various activities and exercises to practice what we had learned. At the end of the day, I felt motivated and inspired to apply these new insights and strategies to improve different areas of my life. I decided to try baking bread from scratch for the first time. I followed a recipe I found online and gathered all the ingredients I needed. First, I mixed the flour, yeast, sugar, and salt in a bowl. Then, I added warm water and stirred everything together until it formed a sticky dough. I kneaded the dough for a few minutes until it became smooth and elastic. After that, I placed it in a greased bowl and covered it with a clean cloth. I let it rise for about an hour until it doubled in size. Once it had risen, I punched the dough down and shaped it into a loaf. I placed it in a greased bread pan and let it rise again for another 30 minutes. Finally, I preheated the oven and baked the bread for around 30 to 40 minutes. The smell of the freshly baked bread filled the kitchen, and it felt very satisfying to see the golden brown crust when I took it out of the oven. Baking bread from scratch was a therapeutic process, and I enjoyed the whole experience. Yesterday, I decided to go for a swim at the nearby swimming pool. As soon as I entered, I felt the coolness of the water against my skin. It was quite refreshing. The pool was not too crowded, which was nice because it meant I had plenty of space to swim without bumping into others. I spent about an hour swimming laps back and forth. It was a great way to exercise and stay active. After each lap, I would take a moment to catch my breath before starting again. The water was crystal clear, and I could see the bottom of the pool. It was really relaxing to watch the ripples forming as I moved through the water. Time flew by quickly, and before I knew it, it was time to get out. As I walked towards the changing area, I felt a sense of satisfaction. Going for a swim was definitely a good decision, and I'll definitely be back again soon. Yesterday, I went to the park and unfortunately, I lost my phone. I searched everywhere but couldn't find it. I felt really worried because I needed my phone for important calls. I decided to ask for help from the park staff. They were very friendly and understanding. They told me to check the lost and found area. I went there and luckily, my phone was found and kept safe in the lost and found box. I felt relieved and thanked the park staff for their assistance. It was a good reminder to always be mindful of my belongings in the future.
Yesterday, I went to a cafe to meet a friend. I ordered a latte and a slice of cake and found a cozy table near the window. I waited for my friend for half an hour, but they didn't show up. Feeling a bit disappointed, I decided to enjoy my coffee alone. I slowly sipped my latte and savored every bite of the delicious cake. The cafe was bustling with people chatting and the aroma of freshly brewed coffee filled the air. Although I wished my friend had come, I made the best of the situation and focused on the present moment. After finishing my coffee, I left the cafe and went about the rest of my day. Yesterday, I decided to take the bus to go shopping. While browsing through the different stores, I stumbled upon a clothing store that was having a great sale. Excitedly, I went inside to explore their offerings. After trying on a few different outfits, I finally settled on a pair of jeans and a t-shirt that I really liked. However, when I went to pay for my items, I noticed that the store had a strict no-return policy. This made me a bit nervous because I wanted to make sure I made the right choices. Nevertheless, I carefully inspected the clothes for any defects or sizing issues and decided to go ahead with my purchase. Despite the no return policy, I felt satisfied with my shopping trip and excited to wear my new clothes. Today, I went to a big office building for a job interview. I felt a little nervous, but I tried to stay confident. The interviewer asked me a lot of questions about my skills and experiences. I answered all the questions to the best of my ability. After the interview, the interviewer said they would call me next week with their decision. I am hopeful and looking forward to hearing from them. Today, I started a new part-time job at a restaurant. As customers came in, I greeted them with a smile and made them feel welcome. The manager showed me how to take orders and enter them into the system. I learned how to use the restaurant's tablet to send the orders to the kitchen. The chef prepared the food and I carefully served it to the customers. Throughout the day, I practiced balancing trays and serving plates without spilling anything. I also learned how to handle customer requests and check that everything was to their satisfaction. It was a busy day, but I enjoyed learning and being part of a team. Today, I went for a walk around my neighborhood. As I was strolling along, I noticed that a new bakery had recently opened its doors. Excited about this discovery, I decided to stop by and see what they had to offer. Upon entering, I was greeted with the delightful aroma of freshly baked goods. I couldn't resist the temptation and decided to purchase a warm and flaky croissant for my breakfast. The croissant looked absolutely delicious, with its golden, buttery crust. I couldn't wait to take a bite. As I savored the first mouthful, I was instantly transported to a French patisserie enjoying the buttery layers melting in my mouth. 
It was the perfect start to my day and I couldn't help but feel grateful for this new addition to my neighborhood. Yesterday, I attended a wedding ceremony of a close friend. The atmosphere was filled with joy and excitement. The couple exchanged heartfelt vows and beautiful rings, symbolizing their commitment to each other. Everyone present applauded and expressed their happiness for the couple. We all celebrated their love and wished them a lifetime of happiness together. The ceremony was a beautiful and memorable occasion. I went to a language exchange meetup yesterday. It was a great opportunity to meet people from different countries and learn about their cultures. I was a bit nervous at first, but everyone was really friendly and welcoming. We started by introducing ourselves and talking about our backgrounds. I was able to practice speaking English with native speakers and they helped me correct my pronunciation. We also shared our favorite phrases in our own languages, which was really interesting. I learned a lot of new phrases in English that I can use in my daily life. Overall, it was a fun and educational experience. I'm looking forward to attending more language exchange meetups in the future. Yesterday, I attended a cooking class where I learned how to make a traditional dish. The class was held in a spacious kitchen with many cooking stations. The instructor was very experienced and knowledgeable. She explained each step clearly and demonstrated the techniques. We started by preparing the ingredients, such as chopping vegetables and marinating the meat. Then, we learned how to sauté and simmer the dish to perfection. The aroma filled the room and made me even more excited to taste the final result. Finally, after a few hours of cooking, it was time to try the dish. The instructor plated the food beautifully, and we all gathered around the table to enjoy our creations. The flavors were incredible, and I couldn't believe I had made such a delicious meal. It was a rewarding and enjoyable experience, and I left the class feeling proud of my new cooking skills. Yesterday, I decided to visit a bookstore. I was looking for something new to read, so I ended up buying a novel that caught my attention. When I got home, I started reading it immediately. The story was so captivating that I couldn't stop reading. I spent the whole evening completely immersed in the book, turning page after page. I was so engrossed in the story that I completely lost track of time. Before I knew it, I had reached the last page and finished the book. It was such an amazing experience to get lost in a fictional world and forget about everything else. Today, I went to a local market near my home. I wanted to buy fresh fruits and vegetables for cooking a healthy meal. When I arrived at the market, I saw many colorful stalls with different types of produce. There were rows of juicy oranges, bright red tomatoes, and vibrant green spinach. I carefully selected some ripe bananas, 
sweet strawberries, and crunchy carrots. The vendor weighed the items and packed them in brown paper bags. I paid for my purchases and headed back home excitedly. In my kitchen, I washed all the fruits and vegetables thoroughly. I peeled the carrots and sliced them into thin strips. Next, I cut the strawberries into small pieces and mashed the bananas. Finally, I added the spinach leaves into a pan of hot oil and cooked them until they wilted. With all the ingredients ready, I mixed everything together in a bowl and enjoyed a delicious and nutritious meal. The meal was refreshing and filled me with energy. Yesterday, I went on a hiking trip with my friends. We were all excited to explore the great outdoors and enjoy some fresh air. As we made our way up the trail, we were surrounded by beautiful scenery. The tall trees, colorful flowers, and flowing streams made the hike even more enjoyable. We couldn't resist taking lots of photos to capture the memories. Each step we took brought us closer to the top of the mountain and the view from there was absolutely breathtaking. We sat down for a while to rest and take in the stunning landscape. It was a perfect day to be outside, and we felt lucky to have this experience. Eventually, we made our way back down the trail, feeling tired but satisfied. The hiking trip was a great way to spend time with friends and connect with nature. Yesterday, I went to a job fair. There were many companies there looking for new employees. I brought several copies of my resume and submitted them to different companies that I was interested in. After submitting my resumes, I had the opportunity to participate in interviews with a few companies. I tried my best to answer the interview questions confidently and professionally. In between interviews, I also took the time to network with professionals in my field. I introduced myself to some of them and exchanged contact information. Overall, it was a productive day where I had the chance to showcase my skills and make connections with potential employers. I attended a workshop on photography. The workshop focused on teaching different techniques and settings for taking pictures. I learned about things like lighting, composition, and how to use manual mode on my camera. Throughout the workshop, we had the chance to practice what we learned by going outside and taking pictures. The instructor provided feedback on our photos and gave us tips on how to improve. It was a hands-on experience that helped me gain more confidence in my photography skills. Yesterday, I visited a beautiful nature reserve. As soon as I entered, I noticed the lush greenery surrounding me. There were tall trees and colorful flowers everywhere. I decided to explore the reserve by taking a leisurely stroll along the trails. As I walked, I came across different types of wildlife. I saw birds flying in the sky and heard their melodic chirping. 
There were also squirrels scurrying around, gathering nuts for their winter stash. I even spotted a family of deer gracefully grazing in a clearing. It was amazing to see these animals up close in their natural habitat. Along the way, I also saw various plants and trees. Some had vibrant blooms, while others had interesting shapes and patterns on their leaves. The air was filled with the refreshing scent of nature. I felt so peaceful and connected to the world around me as I took in the beauty of the reserve. It was a truly memorable experience that reminded me of the importance of preserving our natural environment. Yesterday, I went to a pet adoption center. When I arrived, I saw many puppies and kittens in small cages. They were all so adorable and playful. I asked the staff if I could interact with them, and they kindly agreed. I spent some time playing with the puppies, throwing a ball for them to fetch. They were so energetic and happy. Then, I moved to the kitten area and gently petted them. They were so tiny and soft. I couldn't help but feel tempted to bring one home with me. However, I knew that I couldn't because of my living restrictions. It made me a bit sad, but I knew it was the responsible thing to do. I thank the staff for allowing me to spend time with the animals and left the adoption center. Yesterday, I attended a job training session. During the session, I learned a variety of new skills and techniques. The trainer explained each skill in detail and provided examples to help us understand better. I practiced implementing these skills through various exercises and role plays. Additionally, we were given handouts and resources to refer back to in the future. By the end of the training, I felt confident in my ability to apply these new skills in my future work assignments. Overall, it was a productive and informative training session that will undoubtedly benefit me in my professional career. Yesterday, I decided to go to a nice restaurant for dinner. When I arrived, I was impressed by the elegant atmosphere of the place. I chose a table near the window so I could enjoy the view outside. The waiter came over to take my order, and I decided to have a steak and a glass of wine. While waiting for my meal, I observed the other diners around me. They seemed to be enjoying their food and having pleasant conversations. Finally, my steak arrived and it looked delicious. I took a bite, and the flavors exploded in my mouth. The steak was cooked perfectly and had a juicy and tender texture. I savored every bite, appreciating the excellent quality of the meat. As I enjoyed my meal, I sipped on the wine which complemented the flavors of the steak beautifully. The combination of the juicy steak and the smooth wine was truly delightful. Overall, I had a wonderful experience at the fancy restaurant, and I thoroughly enjoyed the elegant ambiance and exquisite flavors of my dinner. Yes. 
Yesterday, I had a really interesting day. I visited a local farm and it was a great experience. When I arrived at the farm, I saw many different animals there. There were cows, chickens, goats, and even pigs. I was allowed to feed some of the animals, which was really fun. The farmer also showed me around and explained how they practice sustainable farming. It was really interesting to learn about how they take care of the land and use natural methods to grow their crops. After the tour, I went to the farm stand and bought some fresh eggs and vegetables. They looked so fresh and delicious. Overall, it was a great day and I learned a lot about farming. Today was such an exciting day. I went to a theme park with my friends. We started by riding some thrilling roller coasters. The loops and twists were so exhilarating. After that, we played some carnival games and tried our luck at winning prizes. It was so much fun. We also indulged in some delicious cotton candy. The sweet, fluffy treat melted in my mouth. Overall, it was a thrilling day filled with excitement and laughter. Today, I went to the gym to attend a fitness class. The class was really intense and I pushed myself really hard. I could feel myself sweating a lot as I did various exercises and movements. It was challenging, but I kept going and didn't give up. After the class ended, I felt a sense of accomplishment. I felt proud of myself for completing the class and giving it my all. I also felt energized and refreshed, like I had a burst of energy. It was a great workout and I'm glad I went. Yesterday, I participated in a charity event where I had the chance to help pack and distribute food to those in need. It was a rewarding experience to be able to give back to the community. We worked as a team to pack boxes with various types of food such as canned goods, fresh produce, and bread. Once the boxes were ready, we loaded them into vans and headed to different locations in the city. At each location, we set up a distribution area and started handing out the food to people who needed it. It was heartwarming to see the smiles on their faces and know that we were making a difference in their lives. I felt grateful for the opportunity to be a part of this event and to contribute to the well-being of others. Today. I went to a city council meeting. Inside the meeting room, there were many people sitting in chairs and some standing at the back. The meeting started with the council members talking about the agenda for the day. They mentioned different proposals and discussions that needed to be addressed. Some of the proposals were about improving the city's parks and increasing the budget for road repairs. As I listened, I felt interested in what they were discussing. After some time, there was a public comment session where people in the audience could express their concerns and opinions. I raised my hand and was called upon to speak. 
I talked about the need for more affordable housing options in the city. I explained how it would benefit the community and the people struggling to find affordable places to live. I felt a bit nervous speaking in front of everyone, but I was glad that I had the chance to voice my opinion. Overall, it was an educational experience to see how the city council operates and to participate in the discussion. Today, I had a great day at the beach. The weather was perfect, with clear blue skies and a gentle ocean breeze. I started by playing in the water, splashing around and feeling the cool waves on my skin. It was so much fun. Afterwards, I decided to build sandcastles. I found the perfect spot and started shaping the sand into towers and walls. I even added seashells on top as decoration. It was a bit challenging, but I enjoyed getting creative and seeing my sandcastle come to life. After all the playing, I decided to just relax and soak up the sun. I laid down on my towel and closed my eyes, feeling the warmth of the sun on my skin. The sound of the waves crashing in the background was so soothing. It was such a peaceful and calming moment. Overall, it was a fantastic day at the beach, filled with laughter, creativity, and relaxation. I can't wait to go back again soon. Yesterday, I went to a fitness expo. It was a big event with lots of people in different booths. There were many workout equipment displays, and I got to try some of them. I tried a stationary bike and a rowing machine. They were both fun, and it was a good workout. I also attended a few fitness workshops where they taught us how to do different exercises properly. It was interesting to learn new techniques. At the expo, I received free samples of health products like protein bars and energy drinks. It was nice to try them out without having to buy them. Overall, it was a great experience to explore different workout equipment, learn new exercises, and try out health products at the fitness expo. Yesterday, I went to a friend's house for a dinner party. It was a really nice evening. The food was so delicious and made by my friend. We had a lot of engaging conversations and it was a great opportunity to get to know everyone better. The atmosphere was warm and welcoming. I felt comfortable and had a really good time. Yesterday, I attended a university lecture. The professor talked about a very interesting topic. I took out my notebook and started to write down important information. The professor used slides to explain the concepts and I tried my best to understand them. After the lecture, we had a class discussion. I raised my hand and shared my thoughts with the class. It was great to hear different perspectives from my classmates. I learned a lot from the lecture and the discussions. Today, I went to a street fair. 
It was a bustling and lively event. As I walked through the stalls, I saw an array of beautiful artwork and handmade crafts on display. The artists and craftsmen were busy showcasing their creations and engaging with potential customers. The food stalls also caught my attention with their enticing aromas. I couldn't resist trying some of the street food delicacies. I savored the flavors of different cuisines ranging from delectable fried dumplings to mouth-watering grilled kebabs. The whole experience was filled with vibrant colors, tantalizing smells, and an energetic atmosphere. Today, I attended a job orientation session. We were given a lot of information about the company's policies and procedures. The session was very informative and helped me understand what is expected of me as an employee. I also had the opportunity to meet other new employees who will be starting with me. It was nice to connect with them and share our excitement about starting our new jobs. Overall, the orientation session was a great way to start my journey with this company. Today, I attended a book club meeting. We gathered to discuss the book that we were all assigned to read. We started by sharing our thoughts and insights on the book, each person expressing their own ideas and interpretations. Then, we had lively discussions about the different aspects of the book that intrigued us. It was fascinating to hear everyone's perspectives and to see how each of us had unique interpretations of the story. It was a great opportunity to engage with fellow book enthusiasts and learn from their insights. I enjoyed hearing their thoughts and it made me appreciate the book even more. Today, I decided to try a new recipe at home. I gathered all the necessary ingredients and carefully followed the instructions. It was a challenge to prepare the meal from scratch, but I stayed focused and determined. The process took some time, but I remained patient and followed each step precisely. Finally, after putting in a lot of effort, I successfully prepared a delicious meal. It felt rewarding to see the final result and know that I had accomplished something new. Overall, it was a fulfilling experience to try a new recipe and cook a meal from scratch. Yesterday, I attended a workshop on personal finance. The workshop focused on teaching us about budgeting and saving strategies. We learned the importance of creating a budget to track our expenses and allocate our income wisely. The instructor explained different methods of budgeting, such as the envelope system and digital tracking apps. We also discussed the benefits of saving money and how it can help us achieve our financial goals. The workshop encouraged us to set realistic goals and develop a savings plan to work towards them. Overall, it was a valuable experience that provided me with practical knowledge and tools to manage my finances better in the future. Yesterday I attended a fashion show and was able to see the latest designs showcased on the runway. 
The atmosphere was filled with excitement and anticipation as the models gracefully strutted down the catwalk. Each outfit was unique and eye-catching, displaying the creativity and skill of the fashion designers. The vibrant colors and intricate patterns caught my attention, and I found myself appreciating the attention to detail and the artistry behind each piece. It was fascinating to see how the designers combined different fabrics and materials to create stunning outfits. The audience erupted in applause and cheers as the show came to an end, acknowledging the hard work and talent of the designers. Overall, it was a wonderful experience to witness the creativity and innovation within the fashion industry. Yesterday, I went to a block party in my neighborhood. There were a lot of people and it was very lively. I played games with others, like a beanbag toss and a water balloon toss. It was fun and competitive. There was also plenty of food to eat, like hot dogs, hamburgers, and chips. I talked to many of my neighbors and got to know them better. It was nice to socialize with everyone and feel a sense of community and belonging. Overall, it was a great day filled with games, food, and getting to know my neighbors. Yesterday, I attended a workshop on mindfulness. During the workshop, I learned different meditation techniques and strategies to reduce stress. We practiced being present in the moment by focusing on our breath and paying attention to our surroundings. The instructor explained the benefits of mindfulness and how it can improve our overall well-being. We also discussed the importance of self-care and taking time for ourselves. Overall, it was an informative and relaxing experience. Today, I decided to go to a coffee shop to read a book. I walked inside and noticed how cozy and inviting it looked. I approached the counter and ordered a latte. The barista was friendly and quickly made my drink. I found a comfortable corner and settled down with my book. As I started reading, I became completely engrossed in the story. The hours passed by unnoticed as I turned page after page. The atmosphere in the coffee shop was peaceful, with the soft hum of conversations and the aroma of freshly brewed coffee. It was the perfect place to escape into the world of my book. I finally finished reading and reluctantly closed the book, feeling satisfied and content. Yesterday. I visited a beautiful botanical garden. It was a sunny day, perfect for exploring and taking photos. As I walked through the garden, I saw so many different types of plants and flowers. There were tall trees with thick, green leaves, and vibrant flowers in every shade imaginable. I couldn't help but feel peaceful and calm as I strolled along the paths, surrounded by nature's beauty. I took my time to admire each plant, noticing their unique shapes and colors. I even spotted some rare and exotic flowers that I had never seen before. It was a wonderful experience to be surrounded by such natural beauty.
I took out my camera and captured photos of the colorful blooms, wanting to remember this moment forever. Everywhere I looked, there was something new and fascinating to discover. I spent hours wandering through the garden, completely immersed in its tranquility. It was a day filled with wonder and appreciation for the incredible variety of plants and flowers that our world has to offer. Yesterday, I attended a cooking competition. It was really exciting to watch the talented chefs create delicious dishes under pressure. They had limited time to cook, and it was impressive to see how they managed their time and ingredients. I got to taste different samples of the dishes and it was difficult to pick a favorite. After trying all the dishes, I voted for the winner. It was a great experience to witness such culinary skills and it made me appreciate the hard work that goes into creating amazing meals. Yesterday, I went to a job fair for recent graduates. There were many companies there and I had the chance to meet recruiters from different companies. I brought copies of my resume and handed them out to the recruiters. They were interested in talking to me and asked me some questions about my skills and experience. I also had the opportunity to participate in a few interviews. The recruiters were friendly and asked me about my career goals and what I could bring to their companies. Overall, it was a productive day and I felt like I made some good connections with potential employers. I recently took a self-defense class to learn techniques that would help me protect myself. During the class, we practiced various moves and learned about different strategies to stay safe. The instructor showed us how to defend ourselves against potential attackers and how to escape from dangerous situations. We practiced punches, kicks, and blocking techniques. As the class progressed, I started to feel more confident in my ability to defend myself. Learning these self-defense techniques has given me a sense of empowerment and preparedness in case I ever find myself in a situation where I need to protect myself. Yesterday, I went to a sports stadium with my friends. We were excited to watch a thrilling match between two teams. As we entered the stadium, we could feel the energy in the air. The crowd was buzzing with anticipation. We found our seats and waited for the match to start. Once it began, both teams played with great intensity. It was a close game, with both teams scoring goals. The atmosphere was electric as the crowd cheered and supported their favorite teams. We were on the edge of our seats, watching every move on the field. The match ended with a tie, but it was an exhilarating experience. I felt a sense of camaraderie with the other fans as we celebrated the sport together. It was a memorable day at the stadium, and I can't wait to attend another match in the future. Yesterday, I attended a business conference. There were keynote speakers who shared their expertise with us, and I also had the opportunity to attend different workshops throughout the day. 
It was interesting to hear from professionals from various industries and learn about their experiences. During lunch break, I took the opportunity to network with some of the attendees. Overall, it was a productive and informative day where I gained new knowledge and made valuable connections. Today, I went to a street art festival. There were so many colorful murals and graffiti displayed all around. It was amazing to see the different styles and designs that the artists had created. As I walked around, I saw some artists working on new artworks right there on the spot. It was fascinating to watch them bring their ideas to life. I couldn't help but be impressed by their talent and creativity. The atmosphere was buzzing with energy and excitement as people admired the art and took photos. It was a wonderful day filled with vibrant colors and artistic inspiration. I went to a workshop on food photography yesterday. The workshop focused on teaching us different lighting techniques and food styling. We learned how to arrange the food in visually appealing ways and how to create a pleasing atmosphere using different types of lighting. Throughout the workshop, we had the opportunity to practice taking photos of appetizing dishes and received feedback on our work. It was a great learning experience and I feel more confident in my ability to capture mouth-watering pictures of food now. This morning, I woke up at 6 a.m. I felt a little tired because I didn't sleep well last night. I got out of bed and went to the bathroom. I brushed my teeth for two minutes, making sure to brush all of my teeth. After that, I took a quick shower to clean myself. I used soap and shampoo to wash my body and hair. Once I finished showering, I dried myself with a towel. Then, I went back to my room to get dressed. I chose a comfortable outfit for the day, including a shirt and pants. Finally, I was ready to start my day. Today, I had a simple breakfast. I made myself a bowl of cereal with milk and poured myself a cup of coffee. I enjoyed the crunchy texture of the cereal as I ate it with a spoon. The milk added a creamy flavor to the cereal, making it even more delicious. As I sipped my coffee, I felt a warm sensation spreading through my body. The combination of the caffeine and the comforting taste of coffee helped wake me up and get ready for the day ahead. Overall, it was a satisfying and energizing start to my morning. I woke up early in the morning, got ready and left my house. I walked to the bus stop and waited for the bus to arrive. When the bus came, I got on and found a seat. I looked out of the window and watched the buildings passing by. It took about 30 minutes to reach my office. I got off the bus and walked to the entrance of my office building. I looked at my watch and saw that it was already 8 a.m. I entered the office and started my work for the day. 
Today was a busy day at work. I started by checking my emails and responding to any urgent ones. Then, I attended several meetings where we discussed the progress of different projects. After the meetings, I focused on completing the tasks that were assigned to me. I made sure to prioritize my work and stay organized to meet the deadlines. It was a productive day, and I feel satisfied with what I accomplished. During my lunch break, I decided to grab a quick bite to eat. I made a sandwich with some ham, cheese, and lettuce. I also had a side of salad with some tomatoes and cucumbers. As I sat down at the table, my colleagues joined me and we started chatting about our day. We talked about work projects upcoming events, and even shared some funny stories. It was nice to take a break from work and just enjoy a casual conversation with my co-workers. After finishing my meal, I felt refreshed and ready to tackle the rest of the day. Today was another productive afternoon at work. I continued working on my tasks and collaborating with my team members. We had a meeting to discuss the progress of our project and shared ideas on how to move forward. I also spent some time analyzing data and preparing reports. It was a busy but fulfilling day, as I accomplished most of my goals. We all worked together efficiently and helped each other when needed. Overall, it was a successful day of work and I look forward to tomorrow's tasks. Yesterday, I needed a pick-me-up during the day, so I decided to grab a quick cup of coffee. I headed to a nearby cafe and ordered a small black coffee. The barista prepared my coffee quickly and handed it to me. I found a cozy seat by the window and sipped on my coffee while watching people pass by outside. The coffee had a strong and rich flavor, which I enjoyed. It gave me the energy boost that I needed to continue with my day. After finishing my coffee, I placed the empty cup in the designated bin and left the cafe feeling refreshed and ready to tackle the rest of the day. Today, I took the subway home after a long day at work. As I walked into the station, I swiped my metro card and went through the turnstile. The train arrived just a few minutes later, so I quickly got on and found a seat. I put my headphones on and started listening to my favorite podcast. The host was discussing interesting facts about animals, which I found really fascinating. Along the way, the train made several stops, and more people got on and off. After about 30 minutes, I reached my stop. I got off the train and walked up the stairs to exit the station. It was already dark outside, but the bustling city lights illuminated the streets. I felt relieved to be home and looked forward to relaxing for the rest of the evening. Today, I went grocery shopping at the supermarket to buy ingredients for dinner. I walked into the store and grabbed a shopping cart. 
I made a list beforehand, so I knew exactly what I needed to buy. I started in the fruit and vegetable section and picked out fresh tomatoes, cucumbers, and lettuce. Then, I headed to the meat department and chose some chicken breasts. Next, I moved to the pantry aisle and grabbed rice, pasta, and canned beans. I also needed some spices, so I went to the spice section and picked up salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Lastly, I went to the dairy section and grabbed milk and cheese. I checked my list one more time to make sure I had everything I needed. After that, I headed to the checkout counter to pay. The cashier scanned each item and I paid with cash. Finally, I packed my groceries into bags and headed out of the store, ready to cook a delicious dinner. Yesterday, I cooked dinner at home. I decided to make a simple pasta dish with vegetables. First, I boiled some water in a pot and added salt. Then, I put the pasta into the boiling water and cooked it for about 10 minutes until it was soft. While the pasta was cooking, I prepared the vegetables. I chopped some onions, garlic, and bell peppers. After the pasta was cooked, I drained it and set it aside. In a separate pan, I heated some olive oil and sautéed the onions and garlic until they were fragrant. Then, I added the bell peppers and cooked them until they were tender. Next, I added the cooked pasta to the pan and mixed everything together. I seasoned the pasta with salt, pepper, and some dried herbs. Finally, I plated the pasta and enjoyed a relaxing meal by myself. The pasta was delicious and filling, and I felt proud of myself for cooking a tasty dinner. Yesterday, I followed my usual bedtime routine. I brushed my teeth, changed into my pajamas, and then picked up a book to read. I decided to read a few chapters before falling asleep. The book was really interesting and captivated my attention. I enjoyed getting lost in the story and it helped me relax before going to bed. After reading for some time, I started feeling sleepy. I turned off the bedside lamp, lay down, and closed my eyes. It didn't take long for me to drift off to sleep. This weekend I had a lot of errands to run. First, I went to the laundromat to do my laundry. It was quite busy, but I managed to find an available washing machine and started washing my clothes. While waiting for my laundry to finish, I decided to go grocery shopping. I made a list beforehand to ensure I didn't forget anything. I picked up the items I needed and headed to the checkout. After paying for my groceries, I went back to the laundromat to transfer my clothes to the dryer. Once that was done, I headed home. When I got back, I started cleaning the house. I vacuumed the floors, dusted the furniture, and wiped down the countertops. It took a while, but it felt good to have a clean and tidy home. Overall, 
It was a productive day of running errands and getting things done. Today, I went to a local cafe with my friends to have brunch. The cafe was cozy with a warm atmosphere. We sat at a table near the window, which allowed us to enjoy the view outside while we ate. I ordered a plate of scrambled eggs, bacon, and toast while my friends chose different dishes such as pancakes and omelets. The food was delicious and well prepared. The eggs were fluffy, the bacon crispy, and the toast was perfectly toasted. We also had a pot of hot coffee to accompany our meal. We chatted and laughed together sharing stories and catching up on each other's lives. The cafe had a friendly and attentive staff who made sure we had everything we needed. Overall, it was a great morning spent with good food and good company. Today, I went hiking in the nearby mountains. The weather was sunny and warm, perfect for outdoor activities. I packed some snacks and water in my backpack and started my adventure. As I climbed higher, I could feel my heart pounding and my legs getting tired. But the breathtaking scenery kept me going. I saw tall trees, colorful flowers, and heard the sound of birds chirping. The view from the top was absolutely stunning. I could see the entire city below and the vast expanse of nature surrounding me. I took a few pictures to capture the moment. After spending some time admiring the view, I started my descent. The hike back down was easier and I felt a sense of accomplishment. Overall, it was a great day spent in nature, enjoying the beauty of the mountains. I found an interesting recipe online and decided to try it out for dinner. I gathered all the ingredients listed in the recipe and started preparing the dish. First, I chopped the vegetables and marinated the meat according to the recipe's instructions. Then, I heated the pan and added the ingredients one by one, following the cooking order mentioned in the recipe. The kitchen soon filled with a delicious aroma as the dish started to cook. I patiently waited for it to be ready, occasionally stirring and checking the progress. Finally, after some time, the dish was cooked perfectly. I plated it and served it for dinner. It looked and smelled amazing. I took a bite and was pleasantly surprised by the burst of flavors in my mouth. The dish turned out to be absolutely scrumptious, and I was proud of myself for trying a new recipe and successfully preparing a delicious dinner. Yesterday, I went on a shopping trip. I visited various stores and explored their different clothing options. I tried on several outfits and finally found a few new clothing items that I liked. After making my selections, I went to the checkout counter and paid for my purchases. The shopping trip was a fun and enjoyable experience as I got to see a variety of styles and find new clothes that fit my taste. I had a wonderful day at the beach. 
It was a sunny and warm day, perfect for a beach outing. As soon as I arrived, I found a comfortable spot to lay my towel and soak up the sun. The sound of the waves crashing against the shore was so soothing. After some time, I decided to take a refreshing swim in the crystal clear water. The water felt invigorating as it splashed against my skin. I enjoyed floating on my back, feeling weightless and relaxed. Later, I decided to build a sandcastle. I scooped up sand with my shovel and shaped it into walls and towers. It was such a fun and creative activity. I even decorated my sandcastle with seashells and seaweed. As the day went on, I continued to bask in the sun, alternating between swimming and building sandcastles. Eventually, the sun began to set, casting a beautiful orange glow across the beach. It was the perfect end to a perfect day. Today, I visited a farmer's market near my house. It was a sunny day, and the market was bustling with people. As I walked around, I saw stalls filled with colorful fruits and vegetables. There were apples, oranges, strawberries, and tomatoes, all neatly arranged. The smell of ripe fruits filled the air. I decided to buy some fresh produce for the week. I picked up a bag of juicy peaches and a bunch of crisp lettuce. There were also homemade products available, like jams, honey, and pickles. I bought a jar of strawberry jam and a bottle of local honey. The market was also selling freshly baked bread and pastries. I couldn't resist and bought a loaf of crusty bread. I enjoyed exploring the different stalls and talking to the vendors. They were friendly and knowledgeable about their products. Overall, it was a pleasant experience, and I left the farmer's market with a bag full of delicious and fresh ingredients for my meals. Today, I spent the afternoon working in my garden. It was a beautiful day with clear blue skies and a gentle breeze. First, I started by pulling out some weeds that had grown in between my flower beds. I carefully removed them from the soil, making sure to get the entire root so they wouldn't grow back. It felt satisfying to see my garden looking clean and tidy again. After that, I decided to plant some new flowers. I dug small holes in the soil and gently placed each plant inside, making sure they were secure. I watered them afterwards, giving them a good drink to help them settle into their new home. It felt rewarding to see the bright bursts of color that the new flowers brought to my garden. Finally, I moved on to watering the rest of my plants. I used a watering can to give each one a thorough soaking. As I worked, I noticed how much my plants had grown since I last watered them. It made me feel proud to see the results of my care and attention. Overall, it was a fulfilling day spent tending to my garden. I recently started learning to play the guitar. 
It was a new hobby that I wanted to try out. I started by practicing the basic chords such as G, C, and D. It was challenging at first to get my fingers in the right position, but with practice, I started to get the hang of it. I also worked on practicing different strumming techniques. I found it difficult to coordinate my strumming hand with my fretting hand, but I kept practicing. Every day, I would spend a few hours practicing and slowly I started to improve. It was exciting to see myself progress and be able to play simple songs. Although I still have a long way to go, I'm enjoying the process of learning to play the guitar. Yesterday, I decided to take a walk in a different part of town. As I started exploring, I came across some interesting shops, parks, and cafes. The first shop I saw was a small bookstore with a variety of books on display. I spent some time browsing through the different genres and ended up buying a mystery novel. Continuing my walk, I found a beautiful park with lush greenery and colorful flowers. It was a perfect spot to take a break and enjoy the peaceful surroundings. After resting for a while, I stumbled upon a cozy cafe. The aroma of freshly brewed coffee drew me in and I decided to treat myself to a cup. The cafe had a warm and inviting atmosphere, and I enjoyed sipping my coffee while observing the bustling life outside. Overall, it was a fun and exciting day, discovering new places in my neighborhood. Yesterday I spent the afternoon baking homemade cookies. I wanted to experiment with different flavors and decorations, so I decided to try a few new recipes. First, I made a batch of chocolate chip cookies. I followed a simple recipe and added extra chocolate chips for a richer flavor. While those were baking in the oven, I started on my next batch of cookies. This time, I went for a more adventurous flavor and made peanut butter cookies. I added some chopped peanuts for a crunchy texture. As those cookies baked, I began working on the decorations. I made a colorful batch of sugar cookies and used different colored icing to create fun designs. I also tried my hand at piping technique to create intricate patterns on some of the cookies. By the time everything was done, I had a wide variety of homemade cookies, each with its own unique flavor and design. It was a fun and rewarding experience, and I can't wait to share these delicious treats with my friends and family. I went to a bowling alley with some friends for a fun night out. We were all excited to play and cheer each other on. I picked up a bowling ball and tried to aim for the pins. Sometimes I hit a few pins, but other times I missed completely. It was challenging, but I was determined to improve. My friends were also playing and we all cheered for each other when someone made a good shot. We had a great time laughing and joking around. In between games, we took breaks to enjoy some snacks and drinks.
It was a fun and relaxing evening spent with friends, enjoying each other's company and having a friendly competition. Yesterday, I decided to try something new and joined a fitness class. The class was filled with people of different ages and fitness levels. The instructor started by guiding us through a series of warm-up exercises to get our bodies ready for the workout. Then, we moved on to high-intensity exercises that included squats, lunges, and push-ups. It was challenging, but I pushed myself to keep up with the rest of the class. After that, we moved on to cardio routines. We did jumping jacks, high knees, and burpees. It was exhausting, but I kept going. Throughout the class, the instructor motivated us and corrected our form to ensure we were doing the exercises correctly. By the end of the class, I was sweaty and tired, but I felt accomplished. Trying this new workout pushed me out of my comfort zone and challenged me physically. I'm excited to continue attending these fitness classes and see how my fitness level improves over time. Yesterday, I attended a painting workshop. Several people were there too. The instructor showed us different painting techniques and explained how to use the brushes properly. We were given various colors to choose from, including red, blue, and yellow. I decided to paint a landscape with a sunset. I started by applying a light blue color for the sky and then added streaks of orange and yellow for the sunset. Next, I used a darker blue for the sea and added some white waves. For the land, I used green and brown. I also added some trees and a small house. After I finished painting, I felt proud of my masterpiece. Overall, it was a fun and educational experience. Today, I decided to tackle a home improvement project. I spent the entire day painting a room and redecorating it to give it a fresh new look. First, I prepared the room by removing all the furniture and covering the floor with a protective plastic sheet. Then, I gathered all the necessary painting supplies, including paint brushes, rollers, and trays. I started by applying a primer coat to the walls to ensure that the paint would adhere properly. Once the primer was dry, I began painting the walls with a beautiful shade of blue. It was a bit challenging to reach all the corners and edges, but I took my time and made sure to apply the paint evenly. After completing the walls, I moved on to the trim and baseboards, giving them a fresh coat of white paint. Once the paint was dry, I started redecorating the room. I hung up some new curtains that matched the color of the walls and placed a cozy rug on the floor. I also rearranged the furniture to create a more spacious and inviting layout. Finally, I added some decorative pillows and a few potted plants to add a touch of greenery. Overall, the room now has a completely new look that I am proud of. It was a long and tiring day, but seeing the transformation was worth all the effort.
I went to a local sports stadium to watch a sports game. I was really excited because it was my favorite team playing. There were lots of people in the stadium, all wearing the team's colors and cheering loudly. The game was very intense and both teams played really well. I was shouting and cheering along with the crowd. The atmosphere was amazing and everyone was really into the game. It was so much fun being surrounded by all the energy and excitement. I watched as my favorite team scored a goal and the whole stadium erupted in cheers. The game went on for a while and there were some tense moments, but in the end, my favorite team won. I felt really happy and proud of my team. It was a great experience and I'm glad I got to be a part of it. Yesterday, I went on a trip to the zoo. It was a nearby zoo and I was very excited to see all the different animals. As I walked around, I observed a variety of animals such as lions, tigers, elephants, giraffes, and monkeys. Each animal had its own unique habitat within the zoo. I learned about how lions live in the grasslands and hunt for their food. The tigers were in a large enclosure with trees and a small pool of water. The elephants had a spacious enclosure with a mud pit where they could cool off. The giraffes were in a tall enclosure with trees and leaves for them to eat. The monkeys had a large cage with branches and ropes to swing on. It was fascinating to see all the different habitats and how they were designed to mimic the animals' natural environments. I also learned about the different diets of the animals and how they are taken care of by the zookeepers. It was a great day at the zoo and I had a lot of fun exploring and learning about the animals. Today, I decided to try a new restaurant that recently opened in my neighborhood. I walked in and was immediately greeted by friendly staff. The restaurant had a cozy and inviting atmosphere, with soft lighting and comfortable seating. The menu featured cuisine from a different culture, which intrigued me. I ordered a dish that I had never tried before. When my meal arrived, I was pleasantly surprised by the presentation and the aroma of the food. The flavors were unlike anything I had tasted before, and each bite was a burst of deliciousness. The portion size was generous and left me feeling satisfied. The restaurant also had a wide selection of beverages, and I chose a refreshing drink to accompany my meal. Overall, it was a delightful dining experience, and I left the restaurant with a smile on my face, already looking forward to my next visit. Yesterday, I attended a language exchange meetup. It was a great opportunity to practice speaking English with native speakers and make new friends. The event took place in a cozy coffee shop downtown. When I arrived, there were already a few people sitting at the tables, chatting and introducing themselves. I joined a group of people who were talking about their hobbies and interests. We took turns speaking in English and listened attentively to each other. 
It was challenging at times to express myself fluently, but everyone was patient and encouraging. Throughout the evening, I had conversations with people from different countries, including a native English speaker who helped me improve my pronunciation. By the end of the meetup, I felt more confident and motivated to continue practicing my English skills. I exchanged contact information with a few new friends and we agreed to meet again for future language exchange events. Overall, it was a fulfilling experience that not only improved my language proficiency but also allowed me to connect with a diverse group of individuals. Yesterday, I went to a pottery studio to paint a ceramic piece. When I arrived, I was excited to unleash my creativity and create a unique keepsake. The studio had a wide selection of unpainted ceramics to choose from. I picked a small vase, as I thought it would be a nice decoration for my home. The studio provided various paints and brushes for me to use. I started by selecting a color palette and decided to go with a combination of blue, green, and yellow. Carefully, I began painting the base of the vase with broad strokes. As I worked, I experimented with different brush techniques, creating texture and patterns on the vase. After finishing the base, I moved on to the details, adding intricate designs and highlights. Time flew by as I focused on my creation. Once I felt satisfied with my painting, I handed it over to the studio staff for glazing and firing. They explained that this process would give the ceramic piece a glossy finish and make it durable. Overall, it was a fun and fulfilling experience where I was able to express my artistic side and create something truly unique. Yesterday, I visited a science fair. It was a fascinating experience as I got to explore various innovative projects and interactive demonstrations. I saw a project about renewable energy, where they showcased different ways to generate electricity using solar and wind power. It was interesting to learn about how these technologies can help save the environment. There was also a demonstration on robotics, where I got to see a robot perform various tasks. It was impressive to see how far technology has advanced in this field. Another project that caught my attention was about the human body, where they had models and diagrams explaining the different systems and organs. I learned a lot about how our bodies function and the importance of taking care of our health. Overall, it was a great day at the science fair, and I left feeling inspired by all the creativity and innovation on display. Today, I went to an ice cream parlor to satisfy my sweet tooth. When I arrived, I saw a huge variety of flavors to choose from. I decided to try something new and adventurous. I asked the server for a unique flavor combination that would surprise my taste buds. They suggested a mix of mango and chili pepper. I was hesitant at first, but I decided to give it a try. The ice cream was creamy and smooth with a hint of sweetness from the mango. 
As I took my first bite, I could feel a subtle spiciness from the chili pepper. It was an interesting and unexpected combination of flavors, but I actually enjoyed it. It was refreshing and gave a little kick to my taste buds. I savored every spoonful of the ice cream and felt satisfied with my choice. Trying this new ice cream flavor was a fun and tasty experience, and I'm glad I decided to be adventurous. Today, I decided to start a journal to reflect on my day. I grabbed a pen and a notebook and found a quiet place to sit. I opened the notebook and wrote down the date at the top of the page. I thought about what happened during the day and started writing about it. I wrote about waking up in the morning and having breakfast. Then I wrote about going to work and the tasks I completed. I also wrote about meeting my friends for lunch and the fun time we had together. In the evening, I wrote about going for a walk in the park and enjoying the beautiful sunset. Finally, I wrote about my feelings and thoughts about the day and how grateful I was for the wonderful experiences. It felt good to express myself in writing and I look forward to continue journaling in the future. Yesterday, I went on a photography adventure. I explored different locations and captured beautiful scenes with my camera. I practiced different photography techniques like adjusting the exposure and focusing on different subjects. I took pictures of colorful flowers in a garden, tall buildings in the city, and birds flying in the sky. It was a fun and challenging experience. I enjoyed experimenting with different angles and perspectives to capture unique shots. I also learned how to use the manual mode on my camera to have more control over the settings. Overall, it was a productive day of capturing the beauty of the world through my lens. Yesterday, I went for a drive through the countryside. The weather was perfect, with clear blue skies and a gentle breeze. As I drove along the winding roads, I couldn't help but admire the beautiful natural landscape surrounding me. The fields were filled with tall green grass, and colorful wildflowers dotted the landscape. I passed by quaint little farms with cows grazing peacefully in the fields. The air was filled with the scent of fresh-cut hay, and the sound of birds chirping provided a pleasant soundtrack to my journey. I rolled down the windows to take in the peaceful atmosphere and feel the cool breeze on my face. It was a wonderful day to be out on the road, exploring the countryside and enjoying the simple beauty of nature. I recently had the opportunity to attend a job interview. I prepared for it by researching the company, practicing common interview questions, and reviewing my skills and qualifications. On the day of the interview, I arrived early and dressed professionally. I was greeted by a friendly receptionist who directed me to a waiting area. After a short wait, I was called into the interview room where I met with the hiring manager. 
The interview began with a series of questions about my previous work experience and how it relates to the position I was applying for. I confidently discussed my skills and emphasized my qualifications. The hiring manager also asked me situational questions to assess how I would handle certain work-related scenarios. I provided thoughtful responses based on my past experiences. The interview concluded with the hiring manager explaining the next steps in the hiring process and thanking me for my time. I left the interview feeling positive about my performance and hopeful for a favorable outcome. Overall, the experience of attending a job interview allowed me to showcase my abilities and demonstrate my suitability for the position. Today, I sat down to write a special letter to someone I love. I wanted to express my appreciation and share some exciting news with them. I found a quiet spot with a pen and paper in hand. I began by addressing the letter and then started with a warm greeting. I wrote about how much this person means to me and how grateful I am to have them in my life. I shared some recent news, like a promotion at work or a memorable experience I had. I made sure to write in clear and simple language, so that the reader could easily understand my thoughts and feelings. I took my time paying attention to my handwriting and making sure each word was legible. After finishing the letter, I read it over one last time to check for any mistakes or errors. Finally, I folded the letter neatly and put it in an envelope, sealing it with care. Writing this letter made me feel happy and connected knowing that I was able to express my emotions and share a part of my life with someone I cherish. I recently started a small garden by planting seeds in pots. I carefully prepared the soil by loosening it with a garden spade and removing any weeds or debris. Then, I placed the potting soil in each pot, making sure it was evenly distributed. Next, I made small holes in the soil with my finger and dropped a few seeds into each hole. I gently covered the seeds with soil and lightly watered the pots to keep the soil moist. Now, I eagerly await the growth of sprouts, checking on my pots every day. I make sure to water them regularly and place them in a sunny spot to receive enough sunlight. I can't wait to see the first signs of sprouts emerging from the soil. Today, I enrolled in a cooking class to learn new recipes and culinary techniques. The instructor taught us how to properly chop vegetables and prepare them for cooking. We learned about different spices and how they can enhance the flavor of a dish. Then, we moved on to making a delicious pasta dish from scratch. We made the pasta dough by mixing flour, eggs, and salt together. We rolled out the dough and cut it into thin strips to create the pasta noodles. While the pasta was cooking, we prepared a homemade tomato sauce using fresh tomatoes, garlic, and herbs. Once everything was ready, we plated our dish and garnished it with some freshly grated cheese. It was an exciting and hands-on experience, 
and I can't wait to try making these recipes at home. Today, I took some time to reflect on my personal aspirations and set goals for my personal growth. I sat down alone in a quiet room and thought about what I really want to achieve in my life. I thought about my passions, interests, and what makes me happy. After some time, I wrote down a list of goals that I want to accomplish. These goals included both short-term and long-term aspirations. I made sure that my goals were specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. I also thought about the steps I need to take in order to achieve these goals. I felt motivated and excited about the future as I wrote down my goals and planned out the actions I need to take. I know that setting these personal goals will help me grow as an individual and bring me closer to the life I want to live. Today, I visited a local swimming pool and enjoyed a refreshing swim. The weather was hot, so it was the perfect day to go for a swim. When I arrived at the pool, I saw many people already swimming and having fun. I quickly changed into my swimsuit and jumped into the pool. The water felt cool against my skin and instantly refreshed me. I swam back and forth in the pool, enjoying the freedom and weightlessness in the water. There were lifeguards on duty making sure everyone stayed safe. After swimming for a while, I decided to take a break and relax by the poolside. I laid down on a lounge chair and soaked up the sun. The atmosphere was lively, with people laughing and splashing in the water. I felt rejuvenated and grateful for the opportunity to swim on such a hot day. Eventually, I got back into the water for a few more laps before it was time to leave. As I was leaving, I couldn't help but look forward to my next visit to the swimming pool. Yesterday, I went to a friend's barbecue. We all gathered in their backyard and had a great time. There were delicious grilled burgers, hot dogs, and chicken. We also had grilled vegetables and corn on the cob. It was my first time trying grilled corn, and it was really tasty. We all sat around a big table and enjoyed our food together. After eating, we played outdoor games like badminton and volleyball. It was so much fun running around and playing with everyone. The weather was perfect, with a clear blue sky and a gentle breeze. We laughed, talked, and had a great time together. It was a wonderful day spent with friends enjoying good food and outdoor activities. Today, I spent the day painting a room in my house. I decided to give the room a fresh look by choosing a new color. I started by removing all the furniture and covering the floor with plastic sheets to protect it from paint splatters. I then gathered all the necessary tools such as paint brushes, rollers, and a tray. I carefully primed the walls before applying the first coat of paint. It took some time and effort to ensure that the paint was evenly spread and there were no streaks or missed spots. 
After allowing the first coat to dry, I applied a second coat for a more vibrant and even finish. The whole process was tiring but rewarding. It felt satisfying to see the room transform with the new color and looked much fresher. I cleaned up all the painting supplies and put the furniture back in its place. Painting the room was a productive and fulfilling activity that made a noticeable difference in my house. Today, I decided to try something different and visit a hair salon to change my hairstyle. I wanted to embrace a new look and experiment with a fresh style. I walked into the salon and was warmly greeted by the hairstylists. I explained that I wanted to try a hairstyle I had never done before. The hairstylist listened attentively and suggested a few options that would suit my face shape and hair type. After discussing the different styles, I made my decision and the hairstylist began working on my hair. She washed my hair first and then started cutting and styling it. Throughout the process, I admired her skill and precision. When she finished, I looked in the mirror and was amazed at how different I looked. The new hairstyle brought out different features of my face and gave me a boost of confidence. I thanked the hairstylist for her work and happily left the salon, excited to show off my new look to my friends and family. Today, I had a really hectic morning. I woke up late and realized that I didn't have enough time to eat breakfast. I quickly got dressed and rushed out of the door. I was in such a hurry that I didn't even have a chance to grab a snack. As I ran towards the bus stop, I saw the bus pulling away. I was disappointed because now I would have to find an alternative way to get to work. I decided to hail a taxi and luckily, one stopped for me. I got into the taxi and told the driver my destination. The ride to work was fast and smooth. Although I had to spend some extra money on the taxi fare, I was relieved that I didn't have to wait too long or be late for work. Today, I had a really busy morning and forgot to pack my lunch. As I was rushing out of the house, it completely slipped my mind. When it was finally time for lunch, I realized I didn't have anything to eat. I didn't want to go hungry, so I decided to buy something from a cafe near my workplace. I quickly walked over and looked at the menu. There were so many options to choose from, but I went with a sandwich and a side of fries. The cashier was friendly and quickly prepared my order. I paid for it and found a seat to eat my lunch. The sandwich was delicious and filled me up. The fries were crispy and perfectly seasoned. Overall, it was a tasty meal, even though I had initially forgotten to pack my lunch. I made a mental note to double-check tomorrow morning so that I don't repeat the same mistake. One day, I left home without an umbrella. As I was going about my day, suddenly it started to rain heavily. I didn't have any cover to protect myself from the rain, 
so I quickly looked around for a place to take shelter. Luckily, I spotted a nearby tree and rushed over to stand under it. I stayed there until the rain stopped pouring. It was unexpected, but I was grateful to have found a temporary refuge from the rain. Today at work, I had the opportunity to meet a new colleague. As soon as I saw them, I introduced myself with a friendly smile. We engaged in a brief conversation, discussing our respective job responsibilities. I shared some information about my role, and they did the same. It was interesting to learn about the tasks and duties that they are responsible for. Although our conversation was short, it was a positive experience to meet a new colleague and start building professional relationships. Yesterday during my lunch break, I decided to take a walk and stretch my legs. I wanted to break away from my desk and enjoy some fresh air. I walked to the nearby park which is just a few blocks away from my office. The weather was sunny and warm, making it the perfect day for a stroll. As I entered the park, I immediately noticed how peaceful it was. There were tall trees providing shade, and the sound of birds chirping filled the air. I followed the path that circled around the park, enjoying the scenery and taking in the beauty of nature. There were a few people in the park, some sitting on the benches and others walking their dogs. I greeted a couple of them with a smile, but mostly I enjoyed the solitude and tranquility. The walk was refreshing and it helped me clear my mind from the stress of work. After completing a full lap around the park, I headed back to the office feeling rejuvenated and ready to tackle the rest of the day. Yesterday, after having lunch, I had an unexpected meeting with my boss. He called me into his office and we discussed a new project that had come up. He explained the details of the project and what my role would be. He also gave me some additional tasks to complete for the project. We went over the timeline and deadlines for the tasks. I listened carefully and took notes to make sure I didn't miss any important information. After the meeting, I felt a little overwhelmed with the new workload, but I knew it was an opportunity to learn and grow in my job. I spent the rest of the day working on the tasks my boss had given me, trying my best to complete them accurately and efficiently. Overall, it was a surprise meeting that brought new challenges but also excitement for the project ahead. Feeling tired, I decided to grab a coffee from the office pantry in the afternoon. I poured a cup of hot coffee from the pot and added a little bit of sugar and creamer to enhance the taste. As I took a sip, the warm liquid instantly woke me up and gave me a burst of energy. I felt more alert and focused, ready to tackle my tasks for the rest of the day. The aroma of the coffee filled the air, creating a cozy atmosphere in the office. I enjoyed the refreshing and invigorating feeling that the coffee provided helping me stay productive and motivated.
Last week, I was working on a project when I suddenly realized that the deadline was approaching. I became aware that I had limited time left to complete all the tasks. I immediately decided to prioritize my work and focus on completing each task efficiently. I stayed focused and determined throughout the day, ensuring that I didn't waste any time on unnecessary distractions. I worked diligently, staying late into the evening to make sure everything was finished. Finally, I successfully completed all the tasks just in time to meet the deadline. Yesterday, I experienced a delay during my evening commute due to a train malfunction. As I was waiting at the train station, I noticed that there was an announcement about some technical difficulties with the train. We were informed that there would be a delay in service while they worked to fix the issue. Many commuters, including myself, patiently waited for the train to resume its normal schedule. After about 30 minutes, the train finally arrived, but it was already quite crowded. I managed to squeeze myself into the packed train and stood for the entire journey home. The delay caused me to arrive home later than usual, which was a bit frustrating. However, I understood that these things happen from time to time and tried to remain calm throughout the situation. Yesterday evening, I was cooking dinner in my kitchen. I was trying to make a special dish, but unfortunately, I made a mistake. I accidentally burned the dish in the oven. The smoke alarm started blaring, and I quickly turned off the stove and opened all the windows to let the smoke out. I felt frustrated and disappointed with myself for ruining the meal. Since the dish was completely ruined, I had no choice but to order takeout instead. It was a bit disappointing not being able to enjoy the homemade dinner I had planned, but at least I had a backup plan with the takeout. Yesterday. I had a phone call with my family. We talked about what's been happening in our lives lately. I told them about my new job and how I've been adjusting to my new routine. They were happy to hear that I'm doing well and asked me about my co-workers and the tasks I have to do. I also asked about their day and what they've been up to. They shared some interesting stories about their recent vacation and how much they enjoyed it. We had a pleasant conversation, laughing and joking around. It was nice to catch up with them and feel connected despite the distance between us. We ended the call by saying how much we miss each other and promising to talk again soon. It was a nice way to end the day and made me feel grateful for my family. After work, I ran some errands. I went to the grocery store to buy some food for the week. I walked around the store and found everything I needed. I checked off each item on my list as I put it in my cart. After that, I went to the dry cleaners to pick up my clothes. I handed over my ticket and they gave me my clothes. I thanked them and left. It felt good to accomplish everything on my to-do list for the day.
Last night, I decided to read a few chapters of a book before going to bed. I was really enjoying the story and got completely immersed in it. As a result, I ended up staying up later than I had intended. I didn't realize how quickly time was passing as I was so engrossed in the book. It was such a captivating read that I just couldn't put it down. Despite feeling tired the next morning, I was glad that I had taken the time to read and indulge in a good book. Yesterday, I had a dreamy sleep. I fell asleep quickly and had a peaceful night's sleep. In my dream, I found myself in a beautiful garden. The garden was filled with colorful flowers and lush green trees. I could hear the birds chirping and feel the gentle breeze on my face. I walked around the garden, admiring its beauty. There were butterflies fluttering around, adding to the magical atmosphere. I could smell the sweet fragrance of the flowers as I strolled through the garden. It felt like a peaceful and serene escape from reality. I enjoyed every moment of my dream in that beautiful garden. Today, I went to the gym to work out. I followed my usual routine, starting with a warm-up on the treadmill for 10 minutes. Then, I moved on to the weightlifting section, where I did exercises for my arms and legs. After that, I switched to the cardio machines and did 20 minutes on the stationary bike. I sweat a lot during my workout, but it made me feel good because it meant I was working hard. Finally, I finished off with some stretching exercises to cool down. I felt accomplished and proud of myself for completing my gym session. On laundry day. I gathered all my dirty clothes and sorted them by color. I put the white clothes in one pile, the dark clothes in another, and the colored clothes in a third pile. Then, I loaded the white clothes into the washing machine and added detergent. After starting the machine, I moved on to the dark clothes and repeated the process. Finally, I washed the colored clothes. Once all the loads were finished, I hung the clothes on a clothesline to dry. I made sure to hang the white clothes separately from the colored clothes to avoid any color transfer. I left the clothes to dry for a few hours until they were completely dry. It felt satisfying to complete my laundry and know that my clothes were clean and fresh. Today, I went grocery shopping to stock up on essentials and get ingredients for my upcoming meals. I found some really good deals on fresh produce, which was great. I picked out a variety of fruits and vegetables, like apples, bananas, carrots, and broccoli. They looked fresh and were in good condition. I also grabbed some eggs, milk, and bread since I use them regularly. I went to the checkout counter, paid for everything, and then headed home to unload my groceries. Overall, it was a successful trip and I am now ready to cook some delicious meals with all the ingredients I bought. Yesterday, 
I had some trouble with my internet connection at home. It wasn't working properly, so I had to spend some time trying to figure out what the problem was. I checked all the cables and made sure everything was plugged in correctly, but that didn't solve the issue. I decided to call my internet service provider for assistance. They asked me some questions and guided me through a few troubleshooting steps. After trying a few different things, we were finally able to fix the problem. I was relieved that I could finally get back online and continue with my work. Today, I spent the day tending to my plants and garden. I started by watering all of the plants to ensure they had enough moisture. Then, I carefully inspected each plant and removed any weeds that were growing around them. I know that weeds can hinder the growth of my plants, so I wanted to make sure they were all removed. It took some time and effort, but I wanted to give my plants the best chance at optimal growth. After I finished weeding, I took a step back and admired my garden. Seeing the progress and the vibrant colors of the plants made me feel a sense of accomplishment. I'm looking forward to watching my garden thrive and grow even more in the coming weeks. Last weekend, my friends and I decided to go on a spontaneous weekend getaway. We wanted to explore a nearby town and enjoy some relaxing time by the beach. We packed our bags and drove to the town early in the morning. Upon arrival, we strolled around the town, admiring the quaint shops and charming architecture. We stumbled upon a local market where we bought fresh fruits and snacks for our picnic at the beach. The beach was absolutely beautiful, with golden sand and clear blue water. We laid out our towels, soaked up the sun, and even took a refreshing dip in the ocean. As the day turned into evening, we sat around a bonfire and roasted marshmallows for a sweet treat. It was the perfect ending to a wonderful day. Overall, our spontaneous weekend getaway was a great success filled with exploration, relaxation, and good company. Yesterday, I decided to spend the day exploring my artistic side. I gathered all my painting supplies and set up a small studio in my living room. I started by choosing a blank canvas and selecting a variety of paint colors. I began experimenting with different brush strokes and techniques, allowing my creativity to flow freely. As I worked, I mixed different colors together, creating unique shades and tones. The process was both relaxing and enjoyable. I lost track of time as I focused on each brush stroke and the image that was slowly taking shape on the canvas. By the end of the day, I had created a one-of-a-kind artwork that I was proud of. This experience allowed me to express myself and explore my artistic skills in a fun and fulfilling way. Yesterday, I decided to try a new recipe for dinner. I gathered all the ingredients and followed the instructions carefully. 
The process of cooking was quite simple and didn't require much time. When the meal was ready, I was excited to taste it. As soon as I took my first bite, I was amazed by the delicious flavors. The dish had a perfect balance of spices and the ingredients were cooked perfectly. I thoroughly enjoyed every bite of the meal and savored the flavors. It was a satisfying and tasty dinner that I would definitely make again in the future. Yesterday evening, I spent some time stargazing. I spread out a blanket on the ground and lay down to look at the stars. The sky was dark and clear, and I could see so many stars twinkling above me. It was amazing to see the vastness of the night sky. I tried to spot different constellations and was able to identify a few. The stars were so bright and beautiful. I felt a sense of calm and peace as I gazed at them. It was a wonderful experience to just lay there and appreciate the beauty of the stars. Today, I decided to go for a leisurely walk in a nearby nature reserve. As I stepped into the reserve, I was immediately greeted by the tranquil atmosphere. The sunlight filtered through the tall trees, creating beautiful patterns on the ground. I could hear the chirping of birds and the rustling of leaves as I made my way along the path. I couldn't help but feel a sense of calm and serenity wash over me. As I continued my walk, I spotted several birds perched on the branches and flying gracefully in the sky. Their vibrant colors and melodious songs filled me with a sense of wonder and appreciation for nature. I also took the time to observe the different types of plants and flowers that lined the trail. Their intricate details and vibrant colors were a sight to behold. I found myself captivated by the beauty and diversity of the natural world around me. With every step I took, I felt more connected to nature and grateful for this opportunity to immerse myself in its wonders. Today I started a home renovation project. I decided to paint the walls and rearrange the furniture to give my home a fresh new look. First, I cleared out the room and covered the floors and furniture with protective sheets. I chose a soft beige color for the walls, as I wanted to create a warm and inviting atmosphere. I carefully applied the paint using a roller making sure to cover every inch of the wall. After allowing the paint to dry, I began moving the furniture around. I wanted to create a more open and spacious layout, so I moved the sofa to the opposite wall and placed the coffee table in the center of the room. I also decided to swap the placement of the bookshelf and the TV stand for a better flow. It took some time and effort, but seeing the transformation was incredibly rewarding. My home now feels rejuvenated and I can't wait to enjoy the fresh new look. Yesterday I decided to try a challenging recipe for dinner. I carefully followed all the steps and successfully prepared a gourmet meal. I started by gathering all the necessary ingredients and equipment. 
Then, I began by chopping vegetables and marinating the meat. I followed the recipe's instructions to saute the vegetables and brown the meat. Next, I added the spices and simmered everything together. Throughout the process, I constantly checked the recipe to make sure I was doing everything correctly. Finally, after all the hard work, I plated the dish and it looked delicious. I couldn't wait to taste it. When I took my first bite, I was amazed by the flavors. The dish turned out even better than I expected. I felt proud of my accomplishment and enjoyed a satisfying dinner. Today, I decided to work on a do-it-yourself project to make personalized home decorations. I gathered some materials that I had saved from previous projects and started brainstorming ideas. I wanted to give my home a unique touch while also being environmentally friendly by using recycled materials. I let my creativity flow and began cutting, painting, and arranging the materials. It was a fun and fulfilling process as I watched my ideas come to life. I spent the whole day engrossed in my project, and by the end of it, I had created several beautiful and one-of-a-kind decorations. I felt proud of my accomplishments and excited to display them in my home. It was a great way to spend the day and express my creativity. Yesterday, I spent some time playing with my pet. We engaged in different activities like playing fetch and teaching new tricks. It was a joyful and fun experience for both of us. We played with a ball and I threw it for my pet to fetch. He would bring it back to me and we kept playing this game for a while. After that, I decided to teach him a new trick. I showed him how to sit and gave the command. It took a few tries, but eventually, he understood and sat down. We repeated this process with other tricks as well. It was amazing to see how quickly he learned and responded. We had a great time playing together and it strengthened our bond. Yesterday. I upgraded my smartphone to the latest model. I was excited to experience the new features it had to offer. I started by setting it up, following the step-by-step -step instructions on the screen. It was pretty straightforward and didn't take much time. Once it was ready, I began exploring the new features. One of the first things I noticed was the improved camera quality. The pictures I took were much clearer and sharper compared to my old phone. Additionally, the phone had a larger screen, which made browsing the internet and watching videos more enjoyable. The new model also had a longer battery life, which was a definite improvement. Overall, I was pleased with my decision to upgrade and couldn't wait to fully utilize all the new features of my smartphone. Yesterday, I decided to go for an evening jog in my neighborhood. I put on my running shoes and headed out the door. The weather was nice, with a cool breeze. As I started jogging, I felt the fresh air entering my lungs, 
which instantly boosted my energy levels. I passed by several houses and saw some families enjoying their evening on their porches. There were also a few people walking their dogs. The streets were peaceful and quiet, making it a relaxing experience. I continued jogging for about 30 minutes before deciding to head back home. Overall, it was a great way to unwind after a long day and I felt rejuvenated afterwards. Today, I had a friendly chat with one of my neighbors. We greeted each other with smiles and exchanged pleasantries. We talked about the latest news in our neighborhood, such as upcoming construction plans and new businesses opening nearby. We also discussed the recent changes in the weather and how it has been affecting everyone's daily activities. It was nice to catch up with my neighbor and feel a sense of community in our neighborhood. I was driving my car when suddenly it started making strange noises and then came to a complete stop. I couldn't figure out what was wrong, so I decided to call for roadside assistance. I waited anxiously on the side of the road for help to arrive. Finally, a tow truck pulled up and the driver got out to assess the situation. He quickly diagnosed the problem as a flat tire and got to work replacing it. Within a short time, my car was back up and running smoothly again. I was relieved and grateful for the prompt and efficient service. Over the weekend, I met up with some friends for brunch at a busy cafe. We all ordered different dishes from the menu and the food was absolutely delicious. We talked and laughed while we ate catching up on what had been happening in our lives since we last saw each other. The cafe was crowded with other people enjoying their meals as well. After we finished eating, we said our goodbyes and went our separate ways. It was a pleasant and enjoyable way to spend the morning with my friends. Yesterday, I attended a family gathering. It was a nice reunion with relatives that I haven't seen for a while. We all gathered at my aunt's house for the event. The atmosphere was filled with joy and excitement. As soon as I entered the house, I was greeted with warm hugs and smiles from everyone. We all sat around the large dining table, ready to enjoy a delicious meal. The room was filled with laughter and happy conversations as we shared stories from the past and updated each other on our lives. It was heartwarming to see how everyone was genuinely interested in each other's lives and achievements. The food was absolutely amazing with a variety of dishes that catered to everyone's taste buds. We all savored the flavors and indulged in the delightful feast. The day was filled with so much happiness and love. Although the gathering lasted for several hours, it felt like time flew by quickly. We ended the day with some group pictures to capture the beautiful memories we created together. It was truly a wonderful experience to reconnect with my extended family and create lasting memories.
Today, I had a minor issue with one of my home appliances. Instead of calling a professional, I decided to try repairing it myself. I searched online for tutorials and found one that seemed simple enough to follow. I gathered the necessary tools and began working on the appliance. The tutorial provided step-by-step -step instructions with clear pictures, which made it easy for me to understand. I carefully followed each step and made sure to double-check my work along the way. After some time and effort, I was able to fix the issue and the appliance started working perfectly again. I felt a sense of accomplishment and satisfaction knowing that I had successfully repaired something on my own without having to spend money on professional help. It was a valuable learning experience and gave me confidence to tackle similar DIY projects in the future. Today, I decided to try a new baking recipe. I wanted to bake a homemade treat, so I measured all the ingredients precisely. I followed the recipe step by step. Mixing the dry ingredients together in one bowl and the wet ingredients in another. Then, I slowly added the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients while stirring. Once everything was well combined, I poured the batter into a greased baking pan. I preheated the oven and placed the pan inside. I set the timer for the recommended baking time and patiently waited. As the treat baked, a delicious aroma filled the kitchen. Finally, the timer went off, signaling that it was ready. I carefully took the pan out of the oven and allowed the treat to cool before cutting into it. The end result was a beautifully golden, moist treat that tasted absolutely delicious. I was proud of my baking experiment and couldn't wait to share it with others. I recently decided to invest some time in personal development, so I started reading self-help books and attending online courses. Through these resources, I gained knowledge and insights that helped me improve various aspects of my life. I learned effective strategies for goal setting, time management, and building self-confidence. The books and courses also provided helpful tips for improving communication skills and developing a positive mindset. Applying what I learned has made a noticeable difference in my daily life. I now feel more motivated, organized, and self-assured. This experience has taught me the importance of investing in my personal growth and continuously learning in order to become the best version of myself. Today I followed my home exercise routine to stay fit and active. I started with some cardio exercises, like jumping jacks and jogging in place, to get my heart rate up. Then, I moved on to strength training exercises. I did squats to work my leg muscles, push-ups to strengthen my arms and chest, and sit-ups to engage my core. I repeated these exercises for a few sets, taking short breaks in between. I finished my workout with some stretching exercises to cool down and improve flexibility. Overall, it was a productive and energizing workout session at home. Yesterday, 
I received an unexpected visit from a dear friend. We spent the whole day catching up and sharing stories. We talked about our families, our jobs, and our hobbies. It was wonderful to hear about all the things that have been happening in their life. We shared memories from the past and laughed a lot. We even looked through old photo albums and reminisced about our adventures together. We went out for lunch and tried a new restaurant in town. The food was delicious and we enjoyed each other's company. After lunch, we went for a walk in the park and talked some more. Time flew by so quickly and before I knew it, it was time for my friend to leave. We said our goodbyes and promised to keep in touch. It was a truly heartwarming day spent with a treasured friend. Today I decided to give my car a thorough wash. I gathered all the necessary supplies, bucket, sponge, soap, and hose, and began by rinsing off the exterior with water. Then, I mixed the soap and water in the bucket and started scrubbing the car using the sponge. I made sure to clean every nook and cranny, including the wheels and tires. After rinsing off the soap, I dried the car with a clean towel leaving no watermarks behind. Next, I moved on to the interior. I took out all the trash and clutter, vacuumed the seats and carpet, and wiped down the windows and dashboard with a damp cloth. It was a satisfying feeling to see my car sparkling clean both inside and out. Yesterday, I went to an art exhibition. It was a small gallery filled with beautiful artwork. As I walked around, I saw paintings, sculptures, and photographs. Each piece was unique and had its own story to tell. Some were bright and colorful, while others were dark and mysterious. I admired the skill and creativity of the artists. The artwork inspired me to see the world in a different way and sparked my own creativity. I spent a couple of hours exploring the exhibition, taking in all the different pieces. It was a truly enjoyable experience that left me feeling inspired and amazed by the power of art. Today, I learned about gardening tips from online sources and experienced gardeners. I gathered information on how to take care of plants properly. One tip I found was to water the plants regularly to keep them hydrated. Another tip was to provide enough sunlight for the plants to grow well. I also learned that adding fertilizer to the soil can help the plants get the nutrients they need. With these new techniques in mind, I applied them in my own garden. I watered my plants every day and made sure they received enough sunlight. I also added fertilizer to the soil to help my plants grow stronger. Overall, it was a productive day of learning and implementing new gardening techniques. Today, I decided to dedicate some time to deep clean my kitchen. I started by scrubbing the countertops with a cleaning solution to remove any stains or leftover food. 
Next, I organized my pantry, placing canned goods together and arranging my spices alphabetically. It felt satisfying to have everything in order. Lastly, I wiped down all my appliances, including the stove, refrigerator, and microwave, to get rid of any dirt or dust. By the end of the day, my kitchen looked sparkling clean and organized. Yesterday, I attended a hobby class. The class was about pottery and I was excited to learn a new skill. The instructor showed us different techniques and explained how to mold the clay. We were given our own clay to work with and I started shaping it into a small bowl. It was challenging at first, but with practice, my skills improved. After molding the clay, we were taught how to glaze it. I chose a blue glaze for my bowl. Finally, we put our creations in the kiln to be fired. The class was a great experience and I enjoyed learning something new. I can't wait to see how my pottery turns out after it has been fired. This morning, I decided to start my day with a meditation session. I found a quiet spot in my house and sat down comfortably. I closed my eyes and took a deep breath, focusing on the sensation of the air entering and leaving my body. As I continued to breathe, I let go of any thoughts or distractions that came to mind. It was a challenge at first to keep my mind clear, but with practice, I was able to find a sense of calmness and stillness within. I spent some time in this peaceful state before slowly opening my eyes and returning to my daily activities. Overall, the morning meditation was a refreshing way to center myself and prepare for the day ahead. Today was a busy day for me. I woke up early and got ready for work. I had a lot of tasks to complete, so I worked diligently throughout the day. I had a meeting with my colleagues where we discussed our goals and plans for the week. After the meeting, I sent some important emails and worked on a project that was due soon. In the afternoon, I had a lunch break and enjoyed a delicious meal at a nearby cafe. The food was tasty and gave me the energy I needed to continue working. After lunch, I had more meetings and attended a training session to improve my skills. The day seemed to go by quickly, and before I knew it, it was time to go home. On my way back, I reflected on the day's experiences and felt grateful for the small joys of life, like having a good meal and working with helpful colleagues. Overall, it was a productive day, and I was proud of what I had accomplished.